Okay, this is a little tutorial how to use Graupner Hot on the Storm 32 brushless gimbal controller board. For the hardware setup I have a 1.3 uh, board, I have a GR16 um, with just, well, apart from the power, two cables connected um, to channel 8. It's just the signal wire and the ground wire and it goes to RC0 on the board and ground. Um, I have of course my um, MX20 here, um, it's just a, a, a basic um, default test setup and I have the latest um, firmware and user interface uh, which is uh, today is the 26th of April um, which is 0.74a. I think later versions will support that as well. Well, fire up your interface go to, well, uh, of course, um, flash the firmware, go to the Setups tab, uh, choose Hot Sum, go to the RC inputs, and then choose Virtual Channels there. Uh, it's, well, for my setup, it's 1, 4, and 2, which are the same here on my transmitter. It's 1, uh, it's 2, 3, and 4. And um, as you can see, as I move the sticks, uh, the gimbal is moving as well. So it's a great thing, it works. Um, so um, now for the setup in my transmitter, I have the German version here, but I think it will be pretty much the same in the English versions. Go to telemetry. Uh, then choose the second point, hit set, and then circle through to this page. I think it's, I think it's the fifth page, uh, where you can see channel out type, and then choose some DHD08. Uh, well, in in my setup, it's it's channel eight I've chosen, but you can choose any um, channel between 4 and 16 depending on your uh, receiver. Uh, you can, can set it up here, but it has to be some D HD. I'm not sure if it has to be HD, but some D for sure, and then the channel you're using. Um, be aware that these settings are written on the receiver. They, they are not stored um, in the transmitter. So if you change the receiver, you have to um, do the settings again. Right, um, I think this is it. Oh well, you can see it on the interface when I use, uh, when, I, when I move the sticks, uh, you can see those figures go up and down um, accordingly. And well, this cable's pulling on the gimbal, that's why it's freaking out. Basically, it's uh, tuned quite okay. So it works. Have fun.